hanging out with Nate Powers, the 34-year-old, ran about a half a season in four-cylinder, owned a car that Chris Bonofsky drove. He drove it about half the time. It sounds like he's got some good things coming up this season. First got the racing bug when he was 12 years old. Tell me what, somebody on your street had one or something like yeah, that, Yeah, just Nate? a neighbor had a, a four-cylinder, and we went to Brewerton one time, and I was hooked. Just like that. That was it, huh? Yep. All right. When did you actually turn that being hooked on racing into actually being involved? Um, probably when I was... Right around 20, I uh, go to the races again with some people that have Pierce Texas Skyline. And then uh, I think back in 2017, somewhere around there, maybe sooner than that, I met up with Chris and Kobe, and they had four cylinders. And Chris told me I should get a Honda when mm -hmm. I had a Toyota, but I kept over at Tom Mackey's house. And then that's where history started with driving. Okay. And what did you get in? Maybe half a dozen, 10 races last year or something along yeah, those lines? Yeah, I ran a couple. I ran probably five at Brewton and a couple out of at different tracks mm -hmm. in my uh, blue 91 hatchback. And that's the same car Chris drove. Yep, he a drove lot, in right? the beginning of the year, and, um, and he, obviously he's a good driver, he wins and everything. Are those hatchbacks with the open hatch, is that an advantage, getting some air through there, you think, or are we um, not going fast enough where that matters? I don't know. I, I mean, I got a decking in it, so I think the air flow is pretty good through yeah. there. Yeah, get you a little downforce yeah, maybe. Yeah. Of course, it's front-wheel drive, so it's not the same effect as if it was rear-wheel drive. No, not at all. But downforce is downforce, yep. and it does help. All right. So you tell me you've got two cars going. One of them's brand new. I have three cars. Three? Even better. So I have a uh, car I had for the last six years, one that you've seen Chris drive with the blue mm -hmm. 113. And then I have a brand-new car I won from a raffle for 100 bucks. It's a 2003 Honda Civic with a K24 in it. Um, it's just like one of, is that 24 valve motor or something uh, like that? No, it's a 2.4 liter motor. Oh, 2.4, okay. Yeah, it's just like the uh, great car Chris had at, that he won the last eight races at uh, Burlington with. Ooh, so you're going to have it's what identical you need. like that. It's a newer car. It's, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I have another 90, uh, 91 hatch that I purchased for just a, it was a good deal. And we're going to put probably Kobe's buying a motor for it because, you know, I can't drive three cars. So sure. Kobe's going to probably buy a motor for it and put it together. You know, and so that's with them that's what I got for cars. Okay. We're going to run for points, try to go the whole season at Bruton? We'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, everything's a stiff competition trying to race against Chris. You sure. Know, he's the guy I've driven the same car he has, and I can't do as, what he, as good as what he does and behind the wheel. He is something behind the wheel. There's he no is doubt. a wheel man. That's why I always mm -hmm. like working on him and put him behind the wheel of my cars. But, I mean, now last year he got his own car when somebody else partnered up with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'll be behind the wheel. We'll see how it goes. So the big goal is to pass him on the racetrack. It, isn't the it? goal is to beat him straight up with him on the yeah, racetrack. straight up. I've never beat him straight up, yep. honestly. I beat him one time, but I was in one of my cars, and he was in the other car, and I gave him the slower car of the night. Ah, you did that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were down at Thunder Mountain. Actually, okay. night I got my very first ever win. Mm -hmm. So how's that new car look today? Could you it, race? Oh, it's, it's ready. It's ready. No, it's... It's just waiting on a, I'm wrapping it. Michael Miller from uh, Drew Designs wrapping it. So it's kind of sharp. All right. Oh, yeah. I got a nice scheme for it. It's all painted. And Beautiful. then uh, Corey asked me to put in the car show. In the, awesome. At the fair. So it's all ready. Like I said, it's all brand new. Mm -hmm. Front to back. Third weekend in March, guys. So make sure to look at the Brewer and Fulton. What's the, what's the number? It's going to be 113. 113. Okay. So make sure to look for that, guys. That'll be Nate right there. Who helped you out? Who do you want to say thanks to, Nate? Um, first and foremost, my wife. She... You know, puts a lot of money, time, and effort into racing. And me. understanding. <laughs> and uh, she respects my hobby. Nice. And then, of course, Chris, you know, he has a full-blown race shop that we have that he owns. And he puts I a lot of time. That. He puts a lot of time in helping us, everybody, you know, a lot, part of our team. You know, there's six of us, I believe, mm -hmm. that are all out of the same shop. Nice. I want to say thanks to the folks at Jammers over here, Sports Bar and Restaurant. The old Quaker Steak and Lube, by the way, is where we are. We're in the ice cream pile side of it right now. So they're going to be doing that starting in April. Good to see you, man. Make sure you keep in touch this year and let me know how things are going, okay? I will. Thank you.